Hello everyone, it's Carolyn McGee from carolynmcgee.com. I am so excited to be here again with you and be doing my angelic energy reading for this week. It is uh, Sunday, September 8th, 2019. And the cards I was guided to use this week are the Grace Cards um, by Cheryl Richardson. These are really simple cards that have beautiful, gentle energy. And I have a feeling that something like that is going to be coming in for this week. Okay. Oh, look at the peace and serenity in this image. The hands over the heart. The feeling of gentleness the eyes raised to heaven. Just feel that for a moment. Maybe you can even mimic the energy there. I've got my hand on my heart. I don't know if you can see it here, obviously only one because I'm holding the card up for you to be able to see it. But really feel that energy. Maybe even take a moment to feel your breath. rise and fall in your chest and with your next breath breathe in a little bit deeper feel it go past your heart all the way down into your hips clearing and cleansing and releasing all the way down through your physical body and then <sighs> release what no longer serves you and that is the energy that we are moving into for this week. It is all about being centered, being at peace, and releasing. Yet we as humans, we often hold our breath. If you think about it, when we're frightened, we, we freeze. We forget to breathe. Um, when we're focusing really hard, when we are all up in our heads and we're trying to figure things out, we forget to breathe. Uh, it, it, there's so many times when we're stressed, um, if we're running late, if there's a lot going on, we forget to breathe. But breath work and being in our, you know, energetically centered and feeling the energy of our bodies is so powerful in helping us really to be able to clear, see clearly, clearly see. <laughs> it's important. It's powerful. Because that's what's going to allow us to have our angels drop in in a clearer, more understanding manner. When we can feel our energy, when we are present, when we have all of those senses firing optimally, you know, when we can see the visions that are in front of us, whether it is just a card or something that's in, in our environment, when we can hear the sounds that are around us. You know, I don't know if you can hear, but there's a fountain playing gently in the background here. It's a very grounding and soothing sound for me. So it's something that I have um, to help me focus. Is there something in your environment that you can use as an anchor to help you energetically become more present? What do you sense? Can you feel the energy on your skin? You know, is there pressure there? Is there something that you're not paying attention to? Or is there pressure in a certain part of your body? You know, your body speaks to you. Uh, you know, Louise Hayes has a fabulous book. If there's something going on in your physical body, get the book, take a look at it, um, heal thyself. And you, know, um, what is your body trying to tell you? Or do you have just something going on in your gut? but you're not paying attention to it, that knowingness of something that's either good or not good for you. Are you being pushed to do something because it's in your highest good, but you're re resisting it out of fear? This week is all about dropping in and feeling all of that, sensing all of that, knowing all of that, hearing all of that, and seeing all of that. You know, many times we walk around like this, you know, those little monkeys. <laughs> so
So your angels want you to really be aware because you are fully protected. You are divinely guided. Everything truly is in your highest good. You are completely supported by your angels, the divine spirit, universe, the ascended masters, um, all of your animal guides. They have your back. You know, one of my favorite sayings is that universe is conspiring in my favor. And it's true. And it's true for you also. So this week, you know, take a few minutes or maybe a few minutes every day all through this week and really get yourself present. Feel your energy in your body and connect. And if you receive a message to do something that you've been resisting, ask the resistance what it's trying to do for you. Most likely it has something to do with keeping you safe. The resistance is there to protect you. So ask what it needs and then allow that to happen. Does the resistance need a hug? <laughs> Does the resistance need to know that you will stop if it starts feeling too dangerous? That you'll listen to the signals in your body that are trying to guide you? So many beautiful questions to, uh, to reach out and to try and understand. So I would love to hear your feedback on that. Uh, maybe let me know what uh, you're feeling resistant to. You can type your... Um, your comments in the comments <laughs> and also um, as I have been in the past I want to remind you that uh, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, I am working my way towards a hundred subscribers and uh, that is a really important number on YouTube it gives me a lot of credibility which I'm very excited about and uh, once I reach that magic number, uh, I will be picking one person out of however many people there are at that moment. And that lucky person will be getting a 30 minute session with me complimentary as a thank you. So um, if there is somebody out there that you feel uh, would benefit from this message, uh, I invite you to share with them. Thank you so much. And I will see you next week. Bye bye for now.